With never seen video, new audio, and a mass of evidence, the House Committee investigating the January 6th attack on the U.S. Capitol will attempt to show what they call the harrowing story, not only of the day's deadly violence, but the backstory it involved. The primetime hearing tonight will open with eyewitness testimony from the first police officer attacked in the mob riot and from a documentary filmmaker who recorded everything, and it would feature the committee's accounts from Trump's aides and family members of the riot. The January 6th panel's year-long investigation intends to show, they say, how America's tradition of a peaceful transfer of presidential power came close to slipping away. It'll reconstruct how Trump refused to concede the 2020 election, spread false claims of voter fraud, and orchestrated an unprecedented public and private campaign to overturn Joe Biden's victory. One witness the committee is still trying to get, former Vice President Mike Pence. Pence told a Secret Service agent who wanted to put him into an armored limousine on January 6th, I'm not getting into the car. Pence was worried the Secret Service would whisk him away from the Capitol against his wishes, and the committee would like to hear about that. Some have raised questions about precisely why Pence rejected getting in the car. The obvious answer, he was there to fulfill his constitutional duty and wanted to project strength, not to let the riders flush him out to hijack the process. Where are we on what do we want the end result here to be in on a one to ten scale how important is all this stuff it's pretty important but i wonder why it's a primetime television show i'm wondering that as well that's i guess that's my question why is the it end the end result it's a simple answer matt the end result is the elimination of the republican party in whatever form it may be whether it's moderate republicans or far um, Trump Republicans, they want all of them gone. I uh, I disagree with that completely, Kenny. I think they want Trump gone. I don't Do you? think they want the entire Republican Party gone. Yeah. It seems and, like and they And the hate... elements of the party that are but Trump. They lot us do. all in together. I, I mean, they don't differentiate between one side or the other side of the Republican Party. We're all the same person to them. It's so it seems to me. But that's, mm. that's what, I guess, what my point is. Uh, those people that charged don't represent me. We're not like-minded people. I, when President Obama was in, when Clinton was in, he was my president. There's no, I mean, it was just, it's a fact. And why they're giving them so much uh, news coverage well, is confusing I, to me. I don't think, I think when you asked about the final thing that they want to get out of this, right. they want to know who is involved in planning it. Okay. Not necessarily the thousands that rushed the Capitol. Do you think they'll ever? Do you think they'll ever find? No, that? because what they hope is they can prove Trump planned it, and I doubt if he did. Okay. I think they want to prove that there were elements, perhaps, of his administration mm -hmm. that helped plan it, mm -hmm. and backers of him. Johnny, when I if read, not, oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> when I read that the po the portion you just read about Pence, yeah. I guess I made the assumption. Did do you think he feared for his safety? I, you know, reading that story, it's hard to tell if he feared for his safety or if he just didn't want to leave the Capitol because he knew they were trying to get him away okay. so that he couldn't certify the election. Okay. I, I took it because I don't think, it, to be that devious, to think that they were going to go kill him or whatever. Wait a minute, John. You just implied the Secret Service would have been in on some sort of conspiracy. If they wish, if they wish I don't, pants I, away. I, I don't think, did you imply that, John? I didn't get that. I... I don't think I implied it, but I also, there are elements, if you've read all this, of the Secret Service that definitely wanted Trump to stay in right. power. Right. I didn't, so, I didn't think you implied it either, John, but I took, I, I read it the same way you did when I, when I, when I, read, ugh, when I read that piece this morning. That's exactly how I took it. How, that they, the same way that you did. stay to certify. Correct. Yeah, I didn't think okay. there was anything de that, well, I thought it was devious and that they wanted to get him away so that they couldn't certify uh, Biden, but I didn't think it was devious to the point where they wanted to cause harm to Mike Pence. Very At least I would hope not, because that's, you know. Easy. Super brief, informal poll here. Mm -hmm. Of the five of us gathered on this podcast. Mm -hmm. I have no opinion. Who who would have been um, um, pushing over women and children <laughs> to get into that limousine and away from all danger? The mayor of Garage Logic. <laughs> He would have pushed that Viking guy out of the way. Get out of my way. I'm That's going to my limo. seat. <laughs> By the well, way, I, and I, oh, you no. know, you make a serious point, I think, Rook, in that no matter what you think of Mike Pence, you must respect what he did that day because he could have left. Right. And there'd have been no certification. But then uh, what? He could have. <laughs> 
Well, and then we yeah. got chaos. Yeah. And we, well, then, let's... then see now. Let me take this one step further. Since you don't think Trump was involved, then Trump got what he wanted. And now you don't think he's involved. Though. No, no, so. I don't think Trump was involved in the planning of it, but I don't think it would have bothered him at all. Oh, God. Had it been pulled off. Right. I yeah. agree with but that. But what were the Secret Service's motives? And I think, m- me personally, I think it was just to protect Mike Pence because that's what they do, right? Yeah. Am I wrong to assume that? If he gets cornered by a bunch of those dumb thugs. Well, uh, and they were uh, chanting, hang Mike Pence. I mean... So, yeah. Kenny's, you make a good point. They were chanting, you know, hang Mike Pence. So perhaps it was the Secret Service saying, we got to get him out of here. I just think that Joy Behar should add more commentary on this subject. Yes, <laughs> yes. She, what is she pro January 6th or not? I forget I, which. <laughs> I, I guess there's two ways I look at this. If you want to think it's a witch hunt, go ahead. Uh, and the other reason, the Republicans wouldn't take part. They, they refuse to take part. Mm-hmm. You have to admit, it does have the appearance uh, a bit uh, of a witch hunt, doesn't it? No, I, I disagree. I, I, no, I, I, I thought it was pretty disagree. brutal, to tell you the truth. Storming the castle People with died. torches and pitchforks? Well, I remember no, we were no, sitting no, here watching it all unfold on television, and it was almost like I, we were I watching think, a movie. Wait, John and I think we're talking about the investigation. The investigation. Not, yeah, that's, that's what yeah. we were talking oh, about. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. But if the, you know, if the Republicans had, the, I, there's a new quote this morning, a tape of McCarthy two days after it, saying, yep, we got to right now get a bipartisan panel together. Mm-hmm. Well, a week after that, he said, no, we're not, not going to have any Republicans take part in this. You know. Yeah. Oh, interesting. What the hell? Well, you know what it is? It's a scab. I don't really history. feel like watching it. I don't want to watch it. You will, will, though. You won't be able to help yourself. I'll have to, probably. Right. Yeah. Yeah. I'll be flipping between that and the Twins and Yankees. I don't know if I admitted it at the time, but I missed the whole thing. I left here, went to my shop, worked until 6 o'clock, turned the TV on, and I'm like, what? (laughs) What? Were you like that? (laughs) What were you working on? What the hell happened? I thought it started while we were doing the show. It It, it did. It it was was getting a little, yeah, it was getting tense when when I left. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, what a shocker! What were you working well, on? Well, anyway, were you making oh. something? Oh, <laughs> by the way, your the own next business. the next hearing, like you guys were a little worked up about the prime time thing, is not prime time. It's Monday at ten a.m.